Well, firstly, we were actually able to establish that uh, not everyone was moved, and in fact, we've only found so far eight graves here, so um, not many people were buried here. Uh, and also um, the fact that the people are still in the graves. So the whole um, assumption was that everyone had been moved from the cemetery and into the new cemetery. But from what we found so far, the, the story might change um, before we finish here, is that in actual fact um, some people were left behind, if not everyone was left behind. We're very interested in the in overall uh, perspective of uh, looking at the history of the, the region, but looking at it from what we call the biocultural perspective. So looking at both biology and culture together, so that's why it involves the the, um, the research into the human skeletal remains. You know, we're rediscovering these people that have been lost for probably 140 years. So we, we take that responsibility very gravely. So it's, it is very interesting from a scientific perspective, what we're finding, but it's also really rewarding from a, a personal perspective to actually be able to bring these people back to the, the community where they should have been buried in the first place.